Monkey, although unknown, is objectively one of the smarter drivers in accelerators. This video essay will show his innovation and his comedic relief, and also why you shouldn't mess with the Monkey Man. Now first and foremost, Monkey is our innovator. Now why is this? Well first off, he... <laughs> it's no problem! It looks like rush hour is over! Cars doing driving around all crazy like. He gets captured by the sweeper. Now, although he is scared, and in such situations most people will try to forget about that experience, he doesn't forget about it. But you know what this crazy dude does? You know what Monkey does? He doesn't forget about the event. He doesn't forget that he was traumatized by the event. In fact, he... Here it comes. Oh man, how did I let them talk me into doing this? Monkey, you ready? Hey, I was born ready. <laughs> hey, monkey in the middle. He learns from his experience. This crazy guy, instead of putting a traumatic experience in the back of his mind, learns from it. Now notice the difference in the cars he's driving. Monkey intentionally puts his driving seat on the opposite side of spine buses from his previous experience in order to not get captured by the sweeper, i.e. innovation, because he learns and he adapts, and because he is an innovator from uh, huh? His name's Sparky. Say hi, Sparky. Hello. You made about the parts from that racing drone that got smashed. Yeah, he can help us out around the garage. From reprogramming the foreign alien drone into the friendly Sparky, or... Uh, wh what happened? <laughs> what didn't? The drone's tires are holding up way better than ours. I'm gonna take one back with us. Taking one of the drone's wheels back to help the drivers, he noticed that they weren't searing up in the lava realm, and so he takes it back because he sees it's better, because he knows he can replicate it and potentially help out his teammates. Monkey's ideas and intrigue allowed. Hey! It's that wheel we took from that drone's car! Dr. Tesla has reverse engineered the drone technology and made new wheels for all your cars. The tires can morph into eight different treads for all driving conditions. For the drivers to have their tires change specifically for the certain terrain they were in. This increased their chances at winning and therefore defeating the drones. Also, 
Ray using clips, but Monkey. What do you want? Uh, Torque said he tests this new juice I cooked up. I call it Nitrox 3 and a half. You can go 300 miles an hour in reverse. Look out! created a track instantly. Hey, Dork, it's me, Monkey. Trial the Nitrox three and a half is the best batch yet. Last time you cooked up a new fuel, it blew my engine. <laughs> well, it, 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 it happens. All right, Monkey. Here goes. <laughs> Maybe next time, just a little bit of a leaner mixture, I guess. Innovation develops Nitrox three and a half. Now instead of giving up and failing from this experience, he is in fact incited because he wants to succeed even though he fails. Because he knows he can potentially help out the other drivers. His failure can lead to <laughs> Got more trouble. We're not receiving a transmission from Taro. Something's happened. Success. What has the success resulted in? It resulted in Taro's life being saved. Remember how you need to be travelling at 300 miles an hour to enter the realm? Monkey's Nitrox did that for Taro, but backwards. Monkey saved Taro's life. On a quick side note... Wild, stay in the middle of the track! Scrap it, Monkey! It's, groove. it's stickier! It's got better traction! No. Monkey also knew to stay in the groove so he has a decent knowledge on how to drive despite his driving skills not being up to the best tier. Now another reason you should not mess with Monkey is because... <laughs> you really didn't have to come for a job. Alright, who did this to you? Uh, hell! They're gonna pay. <laughs> you hear me? Stop monkeying no. around, pork chop! Or Whatever. Porkchop will come after you and seek revenge. Now Porkchop and Monkey... Ah! Oh, monkey Man! Hey! What's happening to my car? You gotta hit that driver escape thingy! Emergency driver return. Lost the signal. And the driver. For job! Borja! 
have a really close relationship with each other. Porkchop has to protect Monkey, and Monkey is scared of losing Porkchop, almost like they're relatives or have been through rough patches together. The sense of connectiveness is wholesome, and why Porkchop wants revenge on the drones. In fact, because of their relationship, it's the reason why Porkchop... Oh, Monkey. Oh, why'd you wait so long to press the EDR? Well, I wanted to see the look on those drones' faces. Like this? <laughs> As we saw in one of the earlier scenes, he only comes to protect Monkey, and he wants revenge on the drones, which is why he sent Old Smokey and basically did a kamikaze on the drones. Going after Monkey also means. Man, am I glad that's over? Hey, Monkey! Uh oh! Where's my car? You know, that car had a lot of miles on it, Wild. What did you do to my car? <laughs> you mess with his whole team. This scene shows Monkey's agility, unironically what his name is, he, what we associate with Monkey's. Now to end the video, here are some bonus clips of Monkey's comedic relief, a break from all the seriousness. Here, let me show you. Sparky. Sparky. Hello. Lou Porkchop's motorcycle. Huh? Hello. Huh? Huh? Hello. Ah! Run, Sparky! Oh, come on, you little thing. Hello. Hello. Uh... The drone squeal. <laughs> That's my little monkey. Oh, <laughs> easy, Barkchop. You can't take a big rig through the portal. Don't worry, Lonnie. We've got it under control. Ten four. <laughs> what? What's the matter with you? It's the night fox three and a half. It's sloshing around. Monkey, you'll never get that thing to the end of the track before the realm closes. It's okay. We'll use the EDR to get back. <laughs> you hear that? She's worried about me. I know it's dangerous, Lonnie. But when you live with danger every day like I do, I... Monkey, the EDR was designed to bring back one driver. It may not work with two people. What? Uh... <laughs> Hey, big buddy, ah. maybe we better rethink this whole thing, you know? I, I love the smell of burning rubber in the morning. <laughs> Pork chop! Pork no! no! Turn the wheel! <laughs> Anyone hear me? What's the situation? Whatever this dude's paying us is not enough! Who said anything about being paid? No! Hey, has anybody seen a bathroom around here? I need to flush out the radiator. You know what I mean? Uh, drain the oil pan? Are you having engine trouble? <laughs> a whole city with no restrooms. It's like being in New York. <laughs> Ooh, monkey better get moving. <laughs> Slide over. I'll take you to a bathroom. <laughs> uh, it's, 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 it's a little late for that, Tork. Uh, you can drive. If we go fast enough, they won't even be able to catch us. It's no good trying to dodge the vines, Pork Chop. Drive, drive, drive! Use the night drugs! Stay in the groove, 
did not. Stay in the groove, pork chop. You did not stay in the groove, pork chop. Taro, you know this Tesla dude? Wow told me he paid like millions of dollars to some of his drivers. You're coming? You think Torque would mind? Hey! Wait up, Taro! Here goes. Reaching the end of Highway 35 was only the first step mapped out for us by the Accelerons. Did I miss anything? <laughs> <laughs>